off these tweets. Hopefully everything's working. Tweet was sent. Tweet is going out. Johnson Chan, and I have quite a bit to tell you. Now, of all the things that have, could have gone wrong with this, I actually did not expect um, to get blindsided by Cryptopia. I mean, in the past, before, like they've um, they've had some problems, and because they couldn't fix them. They decided to delist coins. I guess uh, that kind of thinking and mindset is still with them today. So, long story short, instead of trying to like actually solve the problem, they're just going to get rid of the Litecoin and Dogcoin base markets, effectively screwing uh, screwing over dozens, if not hundreds, of you know alternative cryptocurrencies. Unfortunately, 808 coin and Compound coin is uh, among the victims. Of course, it would be uh, tempting to just simply scream at them, but that's obviously not going to change their mind. And it's also stupid, too, because right before they turned everything off, um, everything was going up like crazy. Like, compound coin right here, worth a lot of money in dog. Light, um, 808 coin, a light coin was definitely skyrocketing. It was probably going to hit like 200 sato Latoshis of a light coin. You know, and basically it would have been worth like 10, 20 Satoshis of a Bitcoin, you know. It was, it was just crazy amounts of money, and then, you know, effing idiot Cryptopia decides to just, you know, say, screw it, you know, just abandon everything. So, that's essentially the bad news. Um, the good news is there are alternatives, and I'll get to those other markets in a second. But, um, uh, that's just my little game. Uh, so, uh... The downside is those those exchanges are also under heavy stress. Pretty much, you know, the New Year's rush to like fulfill their New Year's resolutions has created like a literal frenzy uh, of you know buying interest in cryptocurrencies, and that's just causing everything to you know basically blow up. So in the meantime. Um, Ideally, the backup exchange, in this case, coinsmarkets.com, was supposed to be up, but not surprisingly, uh, they're still fixing the server. Um, try retry for a live version. It was working okay this afternoon, but then as of a few hours ago, yeah, it's still. It, if you can see up here, it's still loading. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be down. Uh, but I might be able to search the old spot. Yeah, so 808 coin is traded on Coins Market, and it's under the uh, Seattle because the site's actually not working. You're getting a lot of errors, but pretty much you can trade. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Well, at least it went back to the old cash. So it was trading. Well, this was supposed to be. See, the problem is this is the wrong numbers, but this is supposed to be a lot higher. But it goes up to nine decimal places instead of the normal eight, so just be aware of that. But at least we can trade AOA coin here. The other site is called Trade Satoshi, which I'll get to a sec into in a sec. But because they're overloaded too, they closed off registrations um, for everyone. Uh, so it's it's just a huge cluster f. But the good news is at least it doesn't look like they're a scam, so they're not gonna you know take everyone's money and then run away and shut down the site. Um, but unfortunately, these kind of server upgrades can take up to like typically seven to eleven days, is what I read on the forums. And these coins market guys have been at it for four or five days now. I, I think they're working twenty-four hours too. So uh, hopefully, they will fix uh, the problem. Um, so I'll get back to that in a sec. Uh, so because I'm waiting on the exchanges to get back to normal um, I decided to just send myself the coins I was going to sell so in the red box here it's 38,123,123,808 coins and I hid the really big stuff in my address so <coughs> basically 
I don't know how long it's going to take for the servers to get back online, but in case it takes eight or more days, I at least want to be able to, you know, do a full compound and then sell everything off. Or maybe I might just keep it and just, you know, go keep going 30%, you know. Uh, I will at least have the option. Um, but I think for the most part, I think within hopefully the next few days, because Coins Markets was doing pretty well, I think they'll have their crap together within a day or two. I mean, they kind of have to because we're kind of don't have much of a choice <laughs> to go anywhere else. Um, so we go back. So I managed to uh, talk to Mr. Eggman really fast on the forums. So I told him to immediately add Coins Market to uh, the 808 exchange for us. So this is the actual link. Uh, unfortunately, of course, the site's down, so you're not going to be able to access it yet. Um, the other place that you can get 808 coins is Trade Satoshi. What? Uh, what? Holy crap. Okay. Um, well, it was working as of yesterday. Um, uh, okay. Well, I think Trade Satoshi is actually in the middle of an upgrade, too. Um, at least I know now they're on a Microsoft Azure cloud uh, web host. So as you can see, everything is just like completely screwed. Um, so if you're getting in now, it kind of sucks, but the good news is there is one good solid coin that is working. And the... No, I don't want... God damn it. Remove bookmark. There is one exchange and coin that is working. And it is coinexchange.io. Alright, so uh, we look at the graph. Um... It's a combination of everybody just wants really good cryptocurrencies, including exotics, and I think all the people that want 808 coin, because they can't buy it, they're jumping into Sprouts, which is just fine, because basically it keeps this price go, uh, going up. On top of that, the difficulty and inflation is so difficult that you're not actually getting 10% uh, every five days, which is the fastest uh, you can earn possible. It's actually, it actually takes anywhere from 10 to 15 days to stake. But you still get your 2% per day. Um, so thanks to these prices, if I took all my Sprouts coins and I sold it at, say, 180,000 Satoshis of dog coin, uh, even though despite the current correction that's going on right now, um, is that right? Yeah. Um, how much would I be getting? Uh, great. Um, I think, it, I think it comes out to like a million dollars or something like that. Um, okay. Times, I have 24 and a half billion sprouts. Um, that's a million, 24 point, yep, that's 24.5 million. So that gives me uh, 44.1 million dog coins. Uh, where was Preve? Where are you? 44. Oh, okay, so not quite a million dollars, but yeah, my thing's worth like 620 grand. Alright, I started with 500, no, not even five. I started with $180 worth of Bitcoin that I salvaged from an old proof of stake coin called Quotient Coin that I sold out the entirety of it and went into Sprouts. And now, 11 months later, this thing is now worth $626,000. Like, uh, I mean, you may not be good at math, but you can probably see, like, how ridiculous this whole, like, cryptocurrency revolution crap is. Because, basically, you just don't do anything and you just literally print money out of thin air, like I always say in my book. Uh, so it's pretty exciting. Um... I'm still going to keep compounding 100% because I actually want at least 50 billion sprouts because I honestly do not know how long uh, this price can last. Um, so if you really have to get started right now, you can go with coins, coinsexchange.io and you know go with sprouts. 
Uh, just bear in mind that at one point it was as low as like 6,000 to 40,000 Satoshis of a dog coin, so it was worth a lot less. So do keep that in mind. Um, that's why I still go with 808 coin because the price was already low, and if it goes up, then I know with reasonable confidence that it's not going to go too much further down. Unfortunately, you can't trade 808 because you know all the exchanges are overloaded except this one, uh, and also Yobit. Uh, so with that being said, um, now that Cryptopia also screwed Compound Coin. Uh, you're gonna need another place to trade compound coin. So where is the thread? Is this it? No, it's 421. This is 808. Where's the compound? This is Sprouts. Why do I have 421 open twice? Okay. Well, that's not supposed to happen. So just give me a sec. Compound coin. There we go. Bitcoin talk. Okay. Um. So let's see. So the good news is, this is why you want redundancy in life. Um, so now that Cryptopia is kaput, you can get you can trade at CoinsMarkets.com again. That's why it's my favorite one because now you can get three out of the four coins that I stake from CoinsMarkets.com if they would only fix their damn server. The other one is Yobit.com. This is actually I've used them before, but not often. Uh, their site goes uh, operates pretty well, as you can see. It's actually up. Um, Whenever I told you just now that I converted my quotient coin, $180 into worth of Bitcoin at the time, and went into Sprouts, this site Yobit is where I went to buy and sell um, quotient coin. Uh, so I'll show you that in a sec. But before we get to that, yeah, as you can see, Compound Coin. You can actually sell it for one, I think that's eight digits, right? Yeah, that's eight digits, so it's using the standard uh, notation. So you can actually sell a lot of compound coin for one Satoshi of a Bitcoin. So, you know, if you want Bitcoin, here you go, you can directly get it. The good news is the trade history shows there's a lot more buying pressure than selling pressure. So you actually could just do a sell order at two Satoshis and just simply wait for your order to fill. Especially now that you can't get anywhere else, so you know all the trade volume is going to go here for now. Um, how do I do a search? XQN. Oh, they might have delisted it. Oh nope, they didn't. Wow. So after all this time, XQN is still at 79 satoshis of a bitcoin. Um, I want to open this in a new page. Can I do that? No. So yeah. Um, so this thing basically you get every time it mints you basically get 16 quotient coin well 16.81 um, and yeah it's been like that ever since so the price has been okay why can't I move oh god this this is why I hate Firefox so much hold on let me do a refresh let me go scroll down can I scroll down no I can't oh they won't let you scroll down Oh, lovely. So yeah, I used to go. F so it usually goes from anywhere from sixty to uh, upwards to hundred and twenty satoshis of a bitcoin. Um, sometimes in a buying frenzy, it'll go up to like two hundred or two forty. But for the most part, sixty to one twenty is uh, is the range. But you only get sixteen point eighty one coins per sixteen hours. That's as fast as you can make it. So I'm like the so it, it's like I think of it as like a high yield savings uh, certificate, like the seed certificates of deposit that you get at the bank, which is still not that good. So that's why I abandoned quotient coin. So for now, you can get your sell your compound, buy and sell compound. Co what are you doing? You can buy and sell compound coins here at Yobit. Um, I think registrations are still open. Yeah. So you know you could probably sign up, get the create your addresses and stuff, you know, do all that good stuff. So yeah, um, compound coin at Bit, uh, BTC at Yobit, uh, and of course coins market, but I think they're still down. Yeah, it's still loading, loading, loading. 
Um, let's take a look. How close are we to 100,000 blocks? Okay, so this was actually up today. All right, so we're at block 83,381. So at 100,000 100, blocks, or a little less than 17,000 blocks, this, the APR in this will go down to 250%. Um, so pretty much the prices are only going to go up, typically, on compound coin, since the rate of inflation, yeah, I figured, is, uh, you know, decreasing. So that's a, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother. Um, so yeah. Uh, 421 coin, same thing. You got to go to coins markets. I think that's the only place it's listed. Explosive bounties. Where is the exchange? Boat. No. Uh, yep. It's only listed there. I think I still have my 96,000 dog coin buy order still active at uh, uh, Coins Market. Uh, so when the site was working this morning, or this afternoon, I did check it. I was able to log in and my order is still there along all my coins. So assuming these guys did not get hacked, um, everyone's money should be fine. Uh, and then of course you have all these a-holes pretending to be the mods of Coins Market, like spreading FUD and deliberately saying things like, "We stole your money, ha ha ha! We're never going to give you back your money. Too bad, suckers!" And you know they're just trolling in the chat box. It was actually kind of funny, but it's actually kind of messed up, you know. Uh, so, let's see, did I title this thing correctly? Oh yeah, so I titled this stream 7.6 Bitcoin because the one place you can buy and sell, um, I'm going to have to fire up, oh, nope, hold on, I'm in Chrome, uh, that you can buy and sell 808 coin is actually Trade Satoshi, coin market cap, uh, 808. Hopefully it'll no. All right. Well, this will work. So, as you can see, it's shot up to 8.4 million, but the trade volume is hilariously low. Rank 981. Yeah, everything is kind of screwed up. There you go. Trade Satoshi. Um, at one point this was at 14 or 20 Satoshis of a Bitcoin. But that's because it was only happening at Trade Satoshi, but I think there's sites still down. Let's take a look. Okay. All right. I think there's. I think there were websites starting to get back up because instead of getting an instant error message, I'm just getting a very long loading message. Uh, all right. But anyway. Um, Let's see if that loads. But basically, people were buying for 14 to 20 Satoshis of a Bitcoin, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, so if you plug in... Uh, where is Preev? So clear. So if you plug in my 38.123 million 808 coins, and you multiply by 20 Satoshis of a Bitcoin... You get 7.6 blah 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 Bitcoin, and we plug it into Preev. Oh, I wish I had that much money. 7.6 Bitcoin is 113, uh, $114,000, which again is incredible, awesome money. But I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get any, uh, get close to that. I think maybe absolute best case scenario is 10 Satoshis of a Bitcoin. Um, but what I would like to do, yeah, this thing is still lagging. So BTC, LTC, Cryptopia. Um, so before 808 coin was going for 120 Satoshis of a Litecoin, but I think it was going to go up to like 200 or 160. So let's say it did shoot up to 160 before the close. This would have yielded me, so this would have yielded me 61 
0.11 Litecoin. Um, uh, okay, let's just use this. So let's say I want to sell my 61.11 Litecoin. So the real price is 1.03 Bitcoin. So it's actually more closer to one Bitcoin or $15,000, which is still a ridiculous amount of money, but it's also much more in line with what I used to make before all this craziness happened uh, in September and October. So uh, from this, I can extrapolate how many Satoshis of a Bitcoin and 808 coin is supposed to be worth. How do I do that? Um, Oh boy, okay. Uh, oh, okay, I think this is how you do it. So the real price of 808 coin is approximately three Satoshis of a Bitcoin. Boy, I was hoping for like four or five. It's a pretty f that's a pretty f big difference from 14 or 20 on trade Satoshi. But uh, then again, like this thing was in the middle of going of skyrocketing, so we don't actually know how high it was supposed to go. So yeah. Um, so for the most part, if you want 808 coin, unfortunately, you you have to wait, which means I have to wait before I can actually make any money off of it. Um, otherwise, you can just get started right away using Sprouts coin. So once CoinsMarkets.com is freaking stable and working uh, I'll do a tutorial video on how to sign up you know maybe do and then maybe do the con F files for compound coin and stuff because uh, I need to update the book again but instead of having to rewrite and rearrange all the screenshots and like just spend hours or I just do a video do everything at once there and then just simply point to the video link that way the next time I have to update it again I just simply switch links around and it's just much much easier and there's always a possibility that stupid a-holes at Cryptopia will bring these markets back, but I don't think they will. Like they've, they've proven themselves stupid and lazy when they've come across a problem like this, and they just simply just say, ah, we're not going to deal with it anymore. And it's just very annoying. <sighs> so, so yeah, we've covered 421, we've covered Compound Coin, uh, 808 Coin. Um, oh, so I did send in support tickets to both, where are you, coinsexchange.io and yobit.net to include 808 coin. Uh, personally, I don't think I'm going to be successful, um, but you never know. Uh, yobit does charge you money if you want to like choose to give them money. But the thing is, it doesn't sound like they guarantee they accept the coin. And I know we've tried listing 808 coin before on Yobit and they said no. So that leaves me coins exchanged on IO, but it's probably going to be very expensive. I think they might just ask for like two Bitcoin or something. So I don't know, like, I'm just going to have to, because they did respond several months ago after like a week. And they told me that they wanted like 0 0.25 or 0 0.5 Bitcoin to list, to list 808 coin, so... Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be spending that much. You know, I'll, I'll stick with coins markets. But yeah, you'll uh, you'll never know. Um, uh, I guess we'll have to see. So game so game plan going forward, I gotta wait for coinsmarkets.com to get back. Then I'll post my 808 coin, uh, my 38 million 808 coins for sale there. Hopefully, it just won't disappear. Um, I'll try to find out how much that's worth. Uh, and then, oh, because I was expecting to make around $10,000. So that means I need to sell my 808 coins at around two Satoshis of Bitcoin to get roughly about, about that much, which is still really good. Um, and I'm all, I have to admit, I am a little tempted to sell Sprouts too. Even though I want to aggressively grow my stack, because this is this is a lot of money to be ignoring, you know. And if it goes back down to like forty thousand satoshis of a dog coin, you know, I might be kicking myself. 
Uh, so, but, you know, luckily I've got savings, so I, I can afford to wait. Let's give you one more last try. Uh, compound coin, same deal. 421 coin, same deal. Just wait up on that. And then, um, yeah, I'll do the tutorial videos. Um, yeah, I don't see any questions, so. Yeah, I think that about sums it up. Um, I guess before I go real quick, I was going to say that the correction was still happening-ish. Um, so prices, cryptocurrency prices are down across the board for the most part. And that is, where's dog going? Why is dog coin got a weird symbol? Uh, that's weird. The icon's not working. Yeah, so dog coin, uh, Litecoin. So pretty much everything has gone down except uh, Bitcoin, which is still hovering at around 15k and Ethereum at 1150. And the reason for that is actually this. Um, China actually just just outright moving uh, moving in to just ban Bitcoin like they're just being complete a hole assholes about it. Um, so this is uh, from uh, fake news vice, but usually on something like this they don't. Uh, there's no fake news. Um, well, I mean you can read it yourself, but basically they were wanting to kick out all the Bitcoin miners, consume guzzling all the electricity. They've already banned um, ICOs, so you're not going to be able to really buy or sell Bitcoin in China. And then Russia has done a 180 for now and has decided to actually embrace Bitcoin. Um, so uh, we'll see if uh, the Russians decide to uh, give safe haven to Bitcoin miners. Uh, because cause it, cause somebody has to mine this stuff, so it's just a matter of who's going to host these people so yeah this China FUD is going to last for a little bit uh, but on the other hand Ripple Ethereum, I mean a lot of these coins have gone way up since I did my last stream so I mean, it was supposed to be due for a little pullback um, so yeah uh, corrections going on in cryptos, exchanges are completely overloaded um, so these things are all going to cancel out uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a little better, but I think it's going to be at least a couple more days before things go back to normal. Uh, yeah. Grr, damn it. Alright. Alright, well, at any rate, um, uh, this has been fun. Uh, let's see, anyone had questions? No. Alright, so I have to update this my book again, but... Um, yeah, if you want to do what I do, uh, my name is Johnson Chan, and you can buy my book, Mind Bigly, if you want to do what I do, you know, um, yeah, like I turned 180 bucks into like supposedly $620,000 with Sprouts coin, or with my 808 coins, that thing's worth like, I don't know, like a million dollars or something. The numbers are too big for me to even bother to calculate now. Um, and I started that with only 500 bucks on November 16th of 2016. So, you know, you uh, can make big money, but you got to start early if you're going to start small. Because uh, this does take time to, you know, compound. Um, I also made a movie, which uh, everyone either loves or hates. Uh, and I did this movie because it was a dream of mine to make a feature length film. So I did it uh, right before the election. So it's a political comedy, and you know if you're conservative and into video games, this movie is like the ideal match for you. And the further away you get from that, you know, I guess the less relevant it becomes for you. So you know you can check it out, Underdogs. Um, yeah, and I think that does cover everything for now. So I don't see any questions. So um, yeah, uh, just follow me, subscribe to me etc. on all my socials and um, yeah I'll definitely uh, post another video as soon as these exchanges get better or I'm able to you know post my sale order and then I'll update everyone then. Alright everyone uh, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks.